from the Scoundrels Cantina and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be telling you the story of what happened to Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber after he was killed by Darth Maul on Naboo, as well as briefly going over the history of the saber. As always, we're mixing the expanded universe and canon because we believe that there's no reason why most of it can't fit together. So anyway, let's begin. First, I'll be going over the history of the saber, which was created by Qui-Gon Jinn after he lost his first lightsaber during his mission on Telos IV. More specifically, it was created during or after 53 BBY, which was the time of the Telosian Civil War. Qui-Gon Jinn would use the saber on Bandamir against his fallen apprentice, Xanatos, after which he would take Obi-Wan Kenobi as his third and final apprentice. The saber would see further use for many years to come on planets such as Findar and Gala. In 44 BBY, Qui-Gon would fight alongside his fellow Jedi in the Stark hyperspace war. That same year, Jin's fallen apprentice would fight against him while he used this elegant weapon and would commit suicide by jumping into acid. The saber was most notably used in 32 BBY during the invasion of Naboo. Jin dueled against the Sith apprentice Darth Maul on Tatooine and later used the weapon in the Battle of Feet, where with his apprentice, he dueled Darth Maul once more, resulting in his own death. After Jin was impaled by Maul's lightsaber, Kenobi and Maul fought one-on-one, -on -one, that is until Maul overwhelmed Kenobi, which resulted in him losing his primary weapon. While concentrating on the Force, Obi-Wan force-pulled his master's lightsaber and bisected Maul cutting him in half. Kenobi would be without a weapon following the Battle of Naboo, as his own saber was lost during his duel against Darth Maul. Obi-Wan would take possession of his master's lightsaber for the next four years, that is until 28 BBY when he constructed his second lightsaber which was almost identical to his first, which was based on Qui-Gon Jinn's design. Now the following parts of this video are us connecting the dots with lots of evidence from both canon, the expanded universe, and a licensed mythos Ben Kenobi figure. For the following years, Qui-Gon's lightsaber would be kept by Kenobi, and when Order 66 was issued and Obi-Wan went into hiding on Tatooine, he would take the saber with him. A fine addition to my collection! With Anakin's one. For 19 years, he would keep it with him as he traveled the sands of Tatooine and watched over Luke Skywalker. After Kenobi's death, at the hands of Darth Vader, on board the Death Star, and after the Battle of Yavin, Luke would eventually travel back to Tatooine, seeking clues on how to become a true Jedi. He would visit Kenobi's hut where he searched for his journal, which was stashed in a chest. It is believed that Qui-Gon's lightsaber crystal was kept in the chest after something happened to the actual saber. Obi-Wan's journal contained an enormous amount of information useful for becoming a Jedi as well as how to build a lightsaber. That is why Luke's lightsaber looks almost identical to Obi-Wan's. The journal was specifically meant for Luke due to the fact that it could only be opened by Luke's thumbprint. After the events of The Empire Strikes Back, when Luke lost his father's lightsaber, he would construct his new saber with Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber crystal. He would then go on to use the saber and rescue Han Solo from Jabba's palace, as well as redeem his father on board the second Death Star and bring peace to the galaxy. This last part was more of a theory which we believe is true in our headcanon and think that it awesomely ties the Phantom Menace to the original trilogy, especially Return of the Jedi. By the way, we also did a story on Anakin's, aka Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. The link for that video will be below. Anyway guys, this is it on the video, and we hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you want to watch more videos like this one, the link to the playlist of our other Star Wars videos will be in the description below. And also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for even more videos like this one. And remember guys, God is awesome. May the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video. You rebel scum. This party's over.